This video is about conduit bending and the various types of benders. The two major types would be malleable iron, these two, and die cast aluminum. Die cast aluminum is brittle and if you drop it these hooks sometimes bend or break. The malleable iron do not. They are not brittle. They are very strong. If you drop it on concrete, you're likely to chip your concrete. These are both old benders, but they both are very serviceable. This has what we call the Benfield markings. And Jack Benfield was the individual who came up with the science of bending conduit. And if you look up his name on the internet, you'll find him and some of his materials, Jack Benfield. You can see the markings better on this newer version. It shows where the bend would be at 10 degrees, 22, 30 degrees, 45, and 60. The star is for marking where you want to bend a 90 degree. This notch is used for 45 degree saddles. The reason they're called 30 degree benders is that when the handle is vertical, you have an exact 30 degree bend. This one has very few markings. You cannot tell when you are dealing with a 10 degree, 15 degree, 30 degree bend. It again marks where you can bend your 90 degree and when this handle is vertical you have an exact 45 degree bend. I do not use these benders. There are still plenty of them around. Many of them are for sale on auction sites, but they are very difficult to use and make accurate bends. This one is the one that I've used for over 30 years. It could probably use a, a little uh, cleaning and painting, but it's very serviceable. The one, one of the many features I like about this one is that when you bend, if you make a mark at the 5 inch mark in order to bend a 6 inch stub and put this at the star, it's the same as subtracting 6 inches and just going to the top of the hook. Much faster than pulling out a marker and marking each bend. That is not true of some of the other die cast benders. If you were to line it up, you are off by at least a quarter inch and sometimes three eighths or a half of an inch. It's very difficult to subtract in your mind a fraction of an inch when you're trying to just do it visually. There's more to be learned about bending and the various bends and stubs, but most of these benders will say for a conduit stub subtract five inches. Well, if you want a six inch stub, you subtract five inches, you make an, a mark at the one inch mark, and then you put that mark at the arrow, and when you bend it, you will have a six inch stub. Bending will be covered in greater detail, including offsets and saddles in a future video. If you have other questions, I can be reached at sparkyjohn.com.